Hello, my name is Mauricio Burgo and I'm part of the CMS Backbone Enablement Services Teams at Avaya GSS. Today we will check how to change that storage allocation CMS. This window is used to specify the amount of historical data saved by CMS and the duration for which it is saved. Please keep in mind that changing that storage allocation requires CMS states to be changed to single user and data collection for all ACDs should be disabled. This will result in service interruption, so system administrators should schedule this activity accordingly. First, you have to log in into the CMS server. Then, log in into the CMS application. Once you're logging in, you have to change CMS state uh, single to single user mode. You just have to come to system setup and then CMS state. Change to single user, hit modify, and then you, your system is in single user mode. Next, you have to select uh, system setup and data collection in order to turn off both uh, CMS links. So. Let's change ACD number one to off. You hit yes. And then ACD number two to off as well. And you have to do it for every single uh, CMS link that you have administered in the CMS. Now you have to select the ACD in which you want to change uh, the dead storage allocation. Usually the default ACD is number one, but let's change this current ACD from number one to number two, so we can simulate uh, the change for ACD number two. Okay. Then we have to go to the dead storage allocation window. Just go to System Setup and Death Storage Location. In this example, we will change the number of split skills from 350 to 1000, number of days of intra hour from 31 to 62, and finally, the number of uh, agent login logouts records to 100,000. Just hit modify, just enter yes to confirm this change, and you can see that the successfully message is populated, so we just changed that search location. Okay, for CMS release 15 and earlier, you should also check the free space allocation inside system setup and free space allocation. And if available space for any ACDs is between parentheses, you need to allocate more space by hitting modify. Starting with the release 16, which is our current uh, CMS release, CMS automatically does the allocation in order to accommodate the change done in the that search allocation. So we are good here. Now that we are done, we should bring both links back up. And put the system back into the multi-user mode. And that's the way we can change that search allocator in CMS. Thank you for watching this video. For questions and feedbacks, please email mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.